Greetings viewer, welcome to my channel. My name is Google and Star, where I make videos about whatever I want, and it just so happens that I want to make Just Dance videos. This is my series, Just Dance Map Review, where I review specific Just Dance maps. If you don't know what a map is, it's the songs that we play slash select from the menu and Just Dance. The song I'm covering today is Chacaron by El Chambo. What, did you think I was going to review something else? No. Today we're going to review Chacaron. Let's begin with some background information. Chacaron is the second song by El Chambo in the series. Chacaron is statistically the most played song in Just Dance 2022. It has a difficulty rating of easy, an effort rating of moderate, two gold moves, the pictogram colors are orange, fuchsia, blue, and green, the glove colors are fuchsia and sunflower yellow, the lyric color is broom, and there are 124 pictograms. Now let's move on to the song itself. The song itself is for babies and it became a meme in like the early 2010s or maybe even before that, like the late 2000s. And if you were around on the internet at the time, this song was everywhere. It was used whenever somebody did something dumb or said something dumb. I am so glad that that was replaced by just using the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme song. I'd rather listen to that than It's just more pleasing to the ears and, you know, it, it gets the same message across. Who would have thunk? But yeah, I don't listen to this song casually and nor do I want to and I honestly can't believe that people still remember this song. I would have thought that this song would have been forgotten. And if this song was forgotten, well Just Dance brought it back. I, 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 I don't want to talk about the song itself anymore, let's just move on to the background. The routine takes place in a wide room that flashes bold colors every few seconds that range from red, indigo, and sky blue. Every so often, line art of various objects appear, such as giant speakers, birds, and flowers. On both sides of the dancer are inflatable tube men that match the base color of the dancer every time the color changes. In some parts of the song, the room goes dark with disco lights and various colors move across the screen. And that is literally it. It's just a relatively big room that is meant to fool you into thinking that it's a 3D room with 3D models of inflatable arm flailing tube men. It's probably mean to say that it's 2D. It probably is 3D, but there's no way they animated those inflatable arm flailing two men on their own that is definitely like a physics simulation or something with like something else keeping them like straight up i don't know i'm not into cg i just know that like why would you go about animating all that by hand but yeah this is definitely one that they either rushed or was always meant to look like this and they just put it on like the back burner while they were working on the more complex maps i mean there are not a lot of level designers on the just dance team so they gotta do what they gotta do sometimes and i totally respect that but that doesn't mean that i have to like it so i'm gonna give the back Background and okay because it definitely could have been a lot lazier and it could have been a lot worse now let's move on to the appearance of the coach the coach is an inflatable tube man he changes base colors from orange purple and dark blue the dancer has ruffles on the top of his head and at the end of both arms he has giant googly eyes on his face along with an open smile printed on with a white tongue and single tooth on the right side when the background goes dark, his base colors turn dark green and has brighter green lights shining inside his head, arms, and feet. I mean, yeah, it's just an inflatable tube man. It's, it's basically just an inflatable tube man costume that somebody is wearing. Have you ever seen one? I'm sure you have. Maybe not in real life, but definitely at least in Family Guy. They had that whole thing with Al Harrington even. So I know you've heard of it. Hee <laughs> hee her. I understand that this goes perfectly with the theme in the background, but it's still just a costume that looks like you could buy it on Amazon. So in the interest of fairness, I'm also going to give it an okay. Sorry, but fair is fair. Maybe the gold moves can save it. There are two gold moves in this routine. In the first gold move, you lower your arms down quickly. In the second gold move, you move your arms in a circle above your head. So no, they do not save the song. In the first gold move, you don't even have to throw your arms down that fast either, honestly. Like, I get it, I know, this is for children, but come on, you gotta throw them in the deep end sometime. Yeesh, how else are they gonna learn to swim? For legal reasons, that previous part is a joke. But yeah, I'm sorry, in the interest of fairness, I have to give both of them and okay. The second one I'm gonna give slightly more points to, but not too many. And the second goal move gets a good. And the reason why I'm giving the second goal move a good is because I guess spinning your arms in a circle could be harder for a little kid to do. Oh well. Overall, Chacaron gets an okay. 
I know that it's for children, but it could have been better even if it was just for children. Do you have any suggestions for any future Disc Dance map review? Please don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. I promise to get to them eventually, unless they're K-pop in which I'll never get to them. I think this video proves that. Thank you for watching. Adios.